Here we go, people. So we flew in from Accra to Tamale Airport, Regional Airport. One hour, we were there. This is our driver, Sally Fu. We stayed at an Airbnb. It was called Clayton Lodge and Restaurant. Book directly with them if you're going to stay here in Tamale. One, two, action. So we're at the Cultural Center, Jeffrey. <laughs> we do it. So we're at the culture center about to get some goods. <laughs> Please convince this is ivory, but I don't think so. It is a weird thing though. It's ivory. You think it's ivory? I don't think I know. You know it's ivory. Please yes. getting a elephant figurine, a hippo figurine, a necklace, and a thingy. Yes, we have no idea what that is. I got a hat. <laughs> <laughs> we have selected our selection. Your final sub. Next place we went to was Red Clay Tamale, which is probably my favorite art studio in Ghana right now. If you come to Ghana, you absolutely have to go up north and you have to check out Red Clay. The tour was great and it was free. Now, check out some of these exhibits, their names, incredible stuff. Welcome to Red Clay Tamale. The brainchild of Ibrahim Mahama, legendary artist, Ghanaian and Tamale native. See you studio. Some from uh, the collapse factories that you know Africa here, when they went to do renovation, when Nkrumah came, he created many factories in Ghana. So through that factories now is not existing. But if you want to, if they want to do renovation, they will take out of the doors, windows, and then the, uh, the wardrobes inside. Whether they will throw it away or they will start burning it, so they will burn everything. He observed that when they continue burning, uh, they just like this, windows and then tables, uh, it is... Even some of it smelling. Assuming if people blood is blood is how you like war. Yeah. So we should stay away from war. War is not something that will help us or to help anybody in in the future. Okay guys, so just step a little bit away from the tour to tell you guys like this is probably the most legendary like art space in all of Ghana and I have seen a lot of them. Like this is definitely different, this is top notch, well thought out, big space, so many different places to see exhibitions and presentations, it's just like you want to live in the brain of this guy you know you want to live in the brain if you look at well like the incredible things that he has done the things that he's continued to do because if you look around everything's actually still under construction and this studio is like amazing if you do come to the north of ghana which i encourage you to do you should absolutely come to red clay because it is so incredible the space is great the arts the history the archiving so important like it, it really takes a breath away so it's great and it's a free experience if you can believe it or not like it's really a free experience I love it I love it so much and I hope you guys are enjoying the tour as well this is a reminder for you to thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more of Ghana what Ghana has to offer I will talk to you let's go back
after the day's tours we decided to go to a restaurant called wooden um we went to a few restaurants actually before we settled on here it doesn't seem like a lot happens in tamale at night we tried a few places and then we finally settled on this um you might want to do tours in the day and just chill in the night it's wooden. It's wooden. Wooden. I thought wooden. Like, no. oh, it's key. Okay. <laughs> my bad. Well, I'm having some cook. That is definitely mine. It's not yours. Put it back. It's your cook. Day two, we set off and went to the Savannah region, which is about two, three hours away from the northern region. We stopped over in Damango, which is the regional capital now. Now, I was so excited for this journey and the roads were incredible. Such good roads. So many things to see on this road. The animals on the road are unrelentless. They do not move for anybody. We landed at Mole National Park after driving all morning and it is one of Ghana's um, biggest forest reserves and I'm telling you guys everybody has to go here I'm sure those that have already been will tell you how exciting it is you can think about all kinds of animals if you're an animal person or you just want to see from afar like me this would be the right place for you it costs not a lot it was not very expensive to do the safari it was about 110 Ghana cities and then you pay about 30 Ghana cities so in all you'll be paying um 140 150 Ghana cities for a safari tour with a guide this is a must do add it to your list right now One more mm -hmm. steps yeah, towards us. I'm running away. Breaking down trees sometimes. Oh, will it grow back? Breaking no. down trees. Yes. So the elephants break down trees? Yes, because they feed on them. Ah. They feed on the trees so, or the leaves. So when it want to feed on one and it doesn't reach there, it can push the whole tree down. It looks hmm. strong. Yeah. Okay, this guy is like looking. He is. Oh, he's trying to smell us. I am so uncomfortable. I am very uncomfortable. Oh, can we go? I'm not comfortable with this. I'm not. Salif would just run away. Look at him. <laughs> I would say this was kind of a really small time safari as in we're in and out in maybe like two hours tops it was kind of nerve-wracking I'm not gonna lie I'm not an adventure person even though if you look on this page you might think I am so it was really interesting to see your way back from Mole National Park maybe 10 minutes is the town of Larabanga now Larabanga hosts um, the most popular mosque in Ghana it is also the oldest mosque in Ghana it is estimated to be about 600 years old and the myth around this mosque was that it was built by itself the people didn't actually construct it so when you get inside the town you would get a tour fest you have to register you pay um, a little money and then you get to go around it if you're a non-muslim you're not allowed to enter the mosque nobody's allowed to film inside the mosque so we were outside we talked with the locals it was like a lot of them actually and it was a little hustling here and there um you also have to make a donation because according to them they do not get any proceeds from the mole national park which i think is such a slight um to them because they kind of share the same area so they should get some proceeds but it was really nice to be in the north we did so many things but these are the highlights of things i can bring to you right now add it to your list right now toward tamale go up to the savannah region there's so many any other touristy places that you could go to or if you can just you know stay here for a bit longer i'm sure it's a place for you to love make sure you leave a cry when you come to ghana i'll see you guys in my next video bye